Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a farmhouse tray using items from Dollar Tree. Now this is excluding any of the items that I already have on hand, which is paint, glue, paintbrushes, etc. So if you're interested to see how this turns out, just keep on watching. The items that I am using are two of these fiberboard pitchers. Four of the sunflower knickknacks. Now for the items that I already had on hand, I'm using some white chalk paint, some brown spray paint, some sandpaper. I cannot find my sanding block, but Dollar Tree does carry sandpaper and a sanding block as well. Some glue, I have here some E6000, which I already had on hand, and some floral wire cutters that Dollar Tree does carry and a paintbrush. Now let's get started. I began by unwrapping my fiberboard pictures. And here I'm just taking one of my fiberboard pictures and I'm basically just going to uh, pull it apart, break it apart, however you want to call it. But we are going to demolish this thing. <laughs> because I'm only going to use the top portion of it, not the sides. Okay, so here's what I'm working with. I have one of my pictures here. I did not take that one apart. The other picture I did take apart because I want to use only the top portion of it. And I'm going to glue it to the back of the other picture. I then took my sunflower knickknacks and I took the burlap bows off of it and I took some wire cutters and pulled the sunflowers off of the bottom part because I'm only gonna be using the bottom portion of the knickknack for this DIY. And here's what it looks like once I pulled all the sunflowers out of it. And then I just peeled the stickers from the bottom of it right off. They came off very easily. I then went outside and I took the brown spray paint and spray painted the entire picture, back, front, sides, and I also spray painted the bottom portion of the little sunflower knickknacks. And here's what it looked like once I was done spray painting everything. It's not 100% perfect because this is not the finished look. I then took the white chalk paint and I gave everything a nice thin coat. I then took the sandpaper and started distressing the bottom portion of the little sunflower knickknacks. And here's what it looks like once I was done distressing them. Now for the top portion of the tray, I just took the white chalk paint and gave it a thin layer of coating. And here's what it looks like once I was done painting it with the white chalk paint. And now I'm just going to give it a distressed look using my sandpaper. Once I was pleased with the distressed look, I just carried on to add the legs to the tray. I then took the legs for the tray and I glued them on the bottom of the tray. I also made sure the little live sign was facing the other direction so you really couldn't see it. Okay. 
Okay guys, so there you have it, a farmhouse tray made with all items from Dollar Tree, excluding the paint. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for taking the time out to watch it, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.